Welcome to Praise 93.5 and 104.9 FM with your host, Minister Aaron Burford, Minister Gary Majette, and Minister Larry Parker with special guests. We're about to go live in Hampton Roads today. Let's go. I stand ministry with Minister Gary Majet, Elder Burford, and Minister Parker, empowering you on the Word of God and lifting you to a spiritual high. Good morning, good morning. I'm gonna hit you with my like my mom does. Rise and shine. Give God the glory. I remember she used to do that when I was young. Good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We should rejoice and be excited about being here today. The Lord has been good all week long. And I'm excited about being in Praise 104.9 this morning. We've got, well, we got a whole room full of people. There's a whole lot. Parker, you over there? I just want to make sure. Okay, I'll check and make sure I ain't alone. Man, we got a whole room full of people. I'm excited. Our pastor and first lady is here today. Yes. Uh, we have some special guests in the house. We're videotaping today. We got some missionaries. Man, we got all kinds. Man, we got a whole church service in here today. So we're excited about today. How you doing, Deontay? Jay? Good morning, good morning, and uh, welcome to In Christ I Stand, listeners. Thank you for tuning in. Keep your radios plugged in. Listen, um, I'm just excited sitting here looking at um, another clone of uh, Bishop's uh, <laughs> son. <laughs> I said, look, every time I look at him, as soon as he walked in, I said, uh, yeah, man, you look just like your dad. I seen him a couple weeks ago, so yeah, I'll let you introduce him in a, in a couple minutes. Yeah, they're twins. Yes, sir. <laughs> they're twins. They're twins. They, you know, they can't be oh, denying themselves if they had to, so but we're excited. <laughs> About, man. Tell, them, tell them about the show, man. Tell them about the yeah, show. So you all can tune in today from uh, 1.30, uh, right before the Darlene uh, Top 15 countdown. Um, just kick it with me, and then tonight, be back right here on Praise um, from 8 to 10 p.m. for some uh, old school to the new school music and just some good old fellowship. Well, I tell you, boy, you're the hardest working man in radio. Hello, I'm trying. James Brown with Christian music. <laughs> God, we praise the Lord. Hey, Minister Park, how you doing, sir? Man, I'm doing great. I'm doing great, man. Wonderful, wonderful, yes. man. You got a scripture and prayer for us oh, this morning? Yeah, definitely. Uh, this morning, our scripture, I have to come from this scripture where everybody's in this room. Our scripture is coming from Romans, the first chapter, and the 16th verse. So Romans, first chapter, 16th verse. Here we go. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. I mean, this, with this room, that is the scripture. Right? Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. So let's have a word of prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you and we praise you because you are good and your mercy endures forever. Father, we are excited today. Mm -hmm. We are excited because your servants are here today. We're excited to hear the word of the Lord today. We're excited to hear about the testimonies of God, your testimonies, the testimonies of Jesus, of people being blessed and delivered and healed, Lord. We just thank you, Lord. We thank you for our pastor, um, Dr. Riddick, and our uh, executive minister, Dr. Janelle Riddick, being here today. We thank you for our special guest being here today, Lord. And we are expecting great and wonderful things. We look to you. We look to you for hope. We look to you for strength. We look to you for everything that we need to accomplish the will of God for our lives. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, have your way in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, bless everyone here. Bless everyone that's watching. Bless everyone that's listening. And may they receive from the Lord. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Look, we're going to get right in it, man. We've got... <laughs> We got some prolific preachers in the house. We got the doctor team, uh, the, uh, the doctors Riddicks, uh, plural. You know, Pastor Riddick is here, and uh, Doctor Janelle Riddick is here, and we're excited about them being able to take a little time out there. They're some busy folk. I don't even know how they got here this morning, but they 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 parting out some time for us. And this is the second time they've been here with us. The last time was what the first twelve weeks of the yeah, year or something like yeah. that. And so we invited them back again to kind of uh, kind of share what the second 12 weeks of the year is and whatever else God has shared with them. And so we're excited about seeing our pastor and first lady on Saturday morning. Yeah. Man, we booked them. We got them. Yeah. We got them. We are here. We are here. 
and delighted, delighted to be here. Uh, good morning to everyone who is out there listening. We greet you in the name that is above every name, and that's the wonderful name of Jesus. It's our joy to be here with you all um, as week to week you all are consistent in spreading the good news. Amen. And so it's our joy to be here and to share. Absolutely. One of the things that we love is uh, the, just the different places and spaces that we can share the gospel. So a uh, big shout out uh, to both uh, Reverend Burfer and to uh, Minister Parker, uh, to Deontay again, even to the camera crew that's with us. It's exciting to be here. Amen. And I love the fact that you guys have been holding it down, right, yeah, okay. uh, with scriptures and prayers, uh, being able to open up the lines for prayer, shouting out events. This is one of the best ways to get the gospel out, to say what we're doing, but then also to be able to share what others are doing. Yeah, so... Uh, thank you for having us. We are glad to be here, and we are getting ready for, what is this, our second, uh, we're ending now, our second 12 weeks. Yes, right? sir. And so if you guys remember, uh, we split the whole year up, right, the 2023 into 12 week years. And so as we are finishing up uh, this 12 weeks, we are excited going into, uh, what is this, post-resurrection? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Is that a thing? Can we call it that? Post-resurrection, right? <laughs> Uh, keep it going. Yeah, keep it going. I know, right? Keep it going. Until Pentecost. Yes. Yeah. Uh, which is coming up. I know that's right. Uh, Buki is excited about Pentecost. So, uh, this this uh, 12 weeks, we are focusing, uh, we have this series actually, and we're talking about success beyond the stones. Yes. Mm. And so, oh, I like really that. kind of pick it up. You, you, you know the story. Uh, Jesus dies on a Friday, and then early sun early. It's not, what's today, Saturday? Early Sunday morning, right? <laughs> Early yeah. Sunday. Uh, women go to the tomb and they ask, who's going to roll the stone away? Yeah. Uh, with this idea that the stone is going to be what prevents them from getting to Christ. It was not at all a barrier. And we're just looking at life beyond stones, all kinds of stones, whatever obstacles you have, challenges you face. Making sure you know that the same Jesus who rose from the grave and did not allow a stone to stop him uh, from receiving power, uh, we won't have to either. Uh, we don't have to be stuck behind stones either. So we're just kind of looking at different scenarios where God blessed people beyond stones. Mm -hmm. uh, so last week we did actually pick back up with the resurrection story. Uh, this week, if you have time, tune in. Uh, we're gonna be looking at First uh, Samuel 17, and so David has some stones, and his are a little mm -hmm. different. Uh, so the stones for him aren't a barrier because they're big. They actually are a barrier because they're too small. Mm -hmm. uh, he has something, but it doesn't seem like it's enough. And so we're going to deal with what life is like when you're trying to achieve, trying to accomplish, trying to pursue. But then you think that you aren't enough. What you have is not enough. What you know is not enough. You don't have enough people with you. Uh, realizing that even though your stones may seem small, they are still significant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh, wow. they, my partner, man, don't, don't they always come up with some stuff, man? I, uh, the stuff you don't see on the Bible, you got to go in between the scriptures to find that stuff. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. That's just crazy, man. Wow. Um, before before we get too deep, I, I've got to start here. Um, I remember Pastor Riddick, you were sharing something that your wife got something in the mail from Morehouse. Can you can you share? Because we're yeah, really excited about, about that. Yeah, talk about it. Let me talk. Yeah, about talk about it. it. Talk about yeah, your group. Talk so, about your group. Uh, so not too long ago, uh, she was invited to travel down to Georgia. Uh, and at Morehouse, she was inducted into the Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, board of Preachers. Oh, shucks. And, and so we've heard her preach, but I think this was uh, just amazing to see God grace her and favor her with uh, the public acknowledgement. Yeah. Uh, there were 100 inductees. There were 100 inductees, and I think this was the largest uh, inductee class of women. Wow. And so uh, she can share a little bit more about that, but uh, we are proud of her and excited about yes. what God is yes. doing with her. Yes. Uh, oftentimes, uh, like like many, uh, she kind of works so hard in the background, doesn't get seen. And so while she is preaching now, doing a lot, uh, she is actually finally uh, in this space now where uh, she's actually been able to hear people say that they acknowledge it in the product. So again, uh, you want to share a little bit about that? Yes. Absolutely. I'll, I'll be brief. A great surprise. A pleasant surprise. So grateful to to the entire team, particularly the ambassador Susan Johnson Cook, who is a trailblazer in so yep. many uh, so many areas. Mm -hmm. She was the first female president of the Hampton University Ministers Conference, mm -hmm. and one of the assignments that she feels is upon her life in this season is to help is to help build up the next generation of uh, females in ministry. And so she has been mentoring and working with several women from all over the world. So there's women in our cohort from some South Africa and literally everywhere. And so it's a joy and privilege. And so 
Uh, my husband, uh, the Reverend Dr. Dwight Sherrard is one of uh, my most amazing supporters. And so while I'm so grateful for the public acknowledgement from the Morehouse Board of Preachers, I'm grateful for my husband, my family, our church family who continues to celebrate. Um, but to God be the glory. It was a wonderful surprise and I am honored and grateful. But just the joy of, of sharing the gospel is really the gift. M M much deserved. But I'll tell you, these two folk can preach. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, and, and even better than that, they, they're, they're better people than they are preachers, oh, man. you know, and so Amen. we are just so blessed to have them at St. Mark. I don't know if call it Missionary Baptist Church anymore, Pastor, because last week it was apostolic, <laughs> before it was Pentecostal, and they go, it jumps back to coaching, then it comes back to missionary. I don't know what to call us, <laughs> but cool. yeah, we, you know, we're just everywhere, but they are just gifted, anointed, and uh, and then when they preach together, yeah, when they tag team, team, oh yeah, man, it's like it's like the four horsemen. You know, Rick Flair on that thing. Yeah, tag team. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's it's it's, it's, it's prolific, man. Awesome. And so we're gifted to get that 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 preaching every Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. And then here's the funny thing, Parker. Don't don't you get to ask questions afterwards? Oh, they, they, they get to, they get, you get to ask some questions, you know. We ain't got to ask online. We ain't got to raise our hand. We just go right up to Tell me what you mean by this, you know. So, yeah. Um, Paul, you want to share some things too, real quick, don't you? Real quick, before they start talking. Yeah, let me. Yeah, let me just bring out some stuff, especially um, concerning um, our first lady, Dr. Janelle Whitfield Gritty. Um, get the legal name. <laughs> well, you know, she also found this organization called Walking It Inc. And she is a very busy lady. I, I like like Minister uh, Reverend Burper said. I'm just grateful that we can get them. They're our pastor, and we you know we have to try to catch them ahead of time. To, you know to get them get on their schedule. Two months um, in advance. Yes, two weeks. <laughs> yes. So um, I just wanted to bring some things out. Um, I don't think you're mine, and you can correct me. Um, concerning the walk in it um, incorporated. Um, on the 757, I guess certain times a year, like this, you know, they, you have a chance that you can raise funds and they match it. It's matched, right? Yes. Certain, they have certain incentives throughout the day to match to match any of your sponsors' gifts. And so, particularly this year, there was an interesting um, challenge at 10, 10 a.m. and 10, 10 p.m., whoever gives your organization was matched dollar for dollar. Wow. And so our supporters went on, and they must have clicked that button right at 10, 10 a.m. and p.m. Wow. We got several matches from that. So, yes, it's called Give Local 757. And this year, over 200 and, it, over 238 organizations participated. Wow. That is wow. awesome. Wow. Um, what was, the, what was the given amount? It was, it was close to $2 million amongst all of the, not, in 24 hours raised, um, about two, uh, close to $2 million. And so it was just a wonderful day of philanthropy. And many of the gifts that were given, um, Mr. Parker, were like $25, $50. So that's a lot of donors, a lot of support, um, you know, even at those, at those smaller levels. It shows you that, you know, a little becomes a lot when everybody comes together. Amen, amen. Um, just... Just recently, you had your first uh, um, event in uh, concerning leadership yes. with uh, walking it um, in, in the Bahamas. Yes, we were in the Bahamas. Woo! We went women leadership retreat in Nassau, Bahamas. We wow. had an incredible time, wow. both a fellowship together, bonding as sisters in Christ, but also a powerful time where the Lord met each and every one of us individually and collectively. Pastor, you need to get us down to Bahamas, man. Do some men's leadership conference or something. Women killing us, man. We'll pass our track on the beat. Shoot. You know, get some vitamin D and you. We plant that seed right now. In the name. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm just saying very quickly. I came across this, so walking it has been around for 15 years. And um, it's, it's interesting, you know, um, how you just talking about how the ambassador, how she's trying to, she's mentoring women. But you've been doing this for 15 years, young girls, women, the whole, you know, not just spiritually, but in every area of life. Can you touch on that? 
Absolutely. I feel as though I know that God is concerned about every part of who we are. Mm -hmm. And so certainly our spiritual health and well-being, but every aspect of who we are. And so when Walk In It began or when God gave me the vision for Walk In It, it was to help women and girls be holistically healthy, academically, emotionally, socially, and physically. And so that's been my mandate and really my joy and honor. So whether I'm in a school with a group of young ladies, whether I'm on a college campus, whether I'm with a group of adult ladies in the Bahamas, wherever I am, it's really my joy to help all of us strive for holistic health because God is concerned about every part of who we are. Um, also, very quickly mentioned, because I saw this because the pastor put it up there, um, you're having a pink and black gala on May 20th? Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. In Newport News? Yes, May 20th at 5.30 p.m. at the Transformation Place, um, also known as Gethsemane. We are having our... I'm not sure what year this is. We're well over 10 years with our gala. And so it's a great time where all of our ladies come together representing their different schools. We give out our scholarships. So we're giving thousands of dollars in scholarships this year. And so we're excited. It's kind of the year-end celebration for our mentorship program. Amen. Let me say, she's going to stay humble with it. Uh, she has now over 35 schools. Oh, wow. Four school systems, three states, and it's a little over 700 three girls. Three states. Yeah, three states. And so, uh, you know, we talk about it. And again, we're a celebrator, uh, doing well. And you guys said earlier that we say busy. The goal, though, is to get Jesus out, right? So it's yes. an yes. honor, yes. privilege. Uh, the world we're in is a real world. I mean, right. people have real challenges. Yes. Uh, people have real struggles. And at the end of the day, I think we've really just tried to take on this mantle of get God out. And we do it in different ways. So we love the church. I love church. Shout out yes. to St. Mark. Uh, and uh, all of those we're keen connected to. And so I think the church does a great job in its sector. But then there's so many other sectors that Christians may or may not be seen. So right. some of those may be schools or may be sports. Hey, maybe the Bahamas? I don't know. But <laughs> wherever, wherever so there might be a person. Listen, wherever there might be a person that has not yet met Christ or experienced Christ in a, in a churchy way or non-churchy way, right? The goal is going to get that out. And so all the things that you guys are mentioning and maybe even what appears to be busy for us, right? The goal is to get to a place where we can talk about Jesus, show God's love, encourage our heart, maximize potential, help somebody find their purpose. So appreciate y'all highlighting those. Uh, and if anybody's listening to it saying, whoa, it sounds like a lot, go do something. Listen, go find your niche, uh, recognize your purpose, live out your gifts. And we, we believe that if everyone does what they're supposed to do, right, do what they're called to do, whatever God asked them to do, when he asked to do it, then the body of Christ I uh, really kind of makes an impact on the world. Amen. At this point, Bass, I, I don't. I'll take Murph Beach. <laughs> I mean, You're right. I'm saying the men will take Murph Beach. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, just yeah. saying. Just real quick, now, and I'm gonna let y'all go. Let y'all talk a little bit. But I, I can attest to the walk in because my daughter uh, was a product of that Hugo Owens, and so um, I, I know that 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 organization does great work. Um, and um, I'm all about a black and gold function. What do you think, Pastor? I say black and black. Gold. You can't go wrong. You can't go with black and gold. <laughs> but yeah, man. So we're excited about that, man. Our, our first lady is busy. We wanted to honor and celebrate her uh, for all she's doing. And um, you know, it takes a, a great woman to be with a great man, and a great man to be with a great woman. So we're excited about having great giants in our in our in ministry. So tell, tell so tell us what's going on with this second twelve weeks, Pastor. I'll let y'all run with it. Yeah, so speaking of, would you just say giants and great people? Uh, we are walking through, again, just this stone series. I think there's so many spaces that God uses stones and rocks that may be ignored. Uh, and I think if God wrote it, then it's important. And so we can kind of go through it. A preview of Sunday's message really is the simple idea that David, who is on assignment, but it looks like he's not because he's supposed to be with the sheep, goes down to where the soldiers are. Uh, long story short, they are uh, joking God. He can't handle it. And so he goes down to the brook, uh, similar to uh, Elijah, right? He goes down to the brook. And when he gets to the brook, he scoops up five smooth stones. So we can kind of talk about those stones because the stones, again, could seem insignificant. But in order for stones to be smooth, they have to go through a lot, right? Uh -huh. I mean, they, they do. Yeah. So stones aren't naturally smooth. Like, usually they're rocky, they're edgy, they're sharp. And so what he does is he grabs these stones. I don't know if I'm going to spoil it 
Well, yeah, let's talk about it. So he's, he has these stones, in case, in case you don't make it wrong. Uh, he has these stones, and so uh, what he has to do is pick up the stones, and the stones are significant for a couple of reasons. One, uh, if they're smooth, it means they've been there for a while because they don't just become smooth instantly, right? So there's a level of patience that's required for you to accomplish what God has. Uh, if the stones are smooth, it means that they have been sitting in flowing water, mm. right? It's almost kind of like you have to go with the flow. And a lot of times people miss out on purpose because they are rigid, mm. <laughs> literally. Like they're rigid because it has to be this way, it has to be that way. Mm. Uh, so laser focus on a particular strategy or method, they miss out on other ways. And sometimes you got to have to go with the flow. And go with the flow means you have to be in something that is current. Flow current. So right, flow current. No, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Right. I wrote that down. The stone, the stone is in the water. The stone is in the water uh, that's flowing, and the current is kind of what smooths it out. And if we are not current, particularly as the church, as individuals, as people, uh, we miss out. So God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. But He's always moving mm -hmm. and evolving. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so you've heard it before. Like while the message has to be the same, the method has to kind of be altered to be relevant. And so David does all of this, and there's some more to it, but he picks up the stone, and as you know, he eventually uses that stone, God's power, knocks out Goliath, cuts off his head, and he's got four stones left. Uh, you go through, read the Bible, David has uh, some more battles to fight, Goliath has four more brothers. And so uh, the message really... I pray will resonate with people who feel like they are not enough or don't have enough to say, listen, God wants to use you, right? He picked David out of the background. David did not wear the armor. David was lab. David was shunned. And then when he went to fight, he used stones instead of swords and shields and spears. And so while the message is one that we've heard over and over again, I think it's relevant for the day. Uh, because there's so much, and you know, I've argued for a long time that one of the greatest sins was just too much, right? Mm -hmm. Adam and Eve, they got too much information. Mm -hmm. Sometimes all you need is a little and you can survive, but when you have so many options or so many tools, uh, it, it becomes its own distraction. Mm -hmm. uh, and the goal at the end of the day is to get this gospel out, talk about Jesus and give God glory. Uh, which then brings me to, uh, so that's giants, and then uh, great people. Uh, because one of the things uh, Dr. Jay and I did have the opportunity to do is campus ministry. And one of the things we loved about campus ministry was uh, the, the opportunity to travel and spread good news. Uh, so we were, you know, in our own right, kind of like local missionaries. We did a lot with BGC. Mm -hmm. So we traveled the state up and down the East Coast, kind of spreading the gospel. Uh, but that's been our heart. Our heart has been get people to Christ, introduce them to Jesus, right? Uh, we've been on a mission to see Jesus, right? That's been kind of a mantra for a while. And recently, uh, we had the opportunity and privilege uh, to meet two, uh, two very passionate about Christ young people uh, in the person of uh, Daryl and Kira. They are originally from Louisiana. Uh, however, however, they have uh, been commissioned and have literally been traveling the world from Africa to Virginia and a couple of other places I want them to share. Uh, they are literally uh, doing this for Christ, for all nations, right? And uh, today, I want to introduce you to them. Uh, they, they're here, and they're going to be hosting some events and getting ready uh, to pull some events together. Uh, one of the things they've been doing is traveling to churches, organizing evangelism campaigns, and then with those evangelism campaigns, they are rallying cities around large events so that Christ can be lifted up and glorified. Uh, Kira and Durrell, I want to ask you guys just to come and talk a little bit. So glad to have you all the way from Louisiana. Uh, come on, y'all put your hands together real quick. Well, that's a spoon, man. I just saw that, man. Transition from sermon to introduction. I don't know how you do that, man. I'm learning. I'm writing down stuff over here, man. Okay, thank you for that. What's up, Brother Durham? How you doing, man? Good seeing you, sir. Sister Kira, good seeing you again. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's amazing to be here. Like you said, man, Pastor Transition. Too well, man. I mean, they're just learning, writing notes in my phone. Now you got to come up, right? Yeah, you just do that to you, man. Like, she is fire when she came back. I was like, man, I want to hear her preach. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You do. Well, you do. Well, you, do. You, do. you do. You do. Yeah. 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 You do. That's the reason why she got ducked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it wasn't just because she was adopted. Nah. <laughs> That's good, though. But, you know, nah, hey, Pastor, I, I, I wonder if they got a Spellman induction. Maybe, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got a Spellman. She went to Boyhouse. Right. 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 Right.
was saying, um, we were here with a ministry called Christ for All Nations. And uh, what we do is, man, we go and shake cities for Jesus. Oh, um, love that. That's, that's, that's the go. I love the verse you read, man. I've been preaching that almost probably at every church here. Praise uh, God. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Mm -hmm, for it's mm -hmm. the power of God and the salvation. Um, and that's the heartbeat of the ministry, the gospel. Um, we go in and we say, hey, man, let's like, let's see this city shaking for Jesus. So mm -hmm. here, what we've been doing is we've been, um, first of all, just meeting with the local body. Because uh, we believe like we can go out fishing, but if we don't have a boat to put these fish in, we fail. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, Jesus would say, go and make, con he didn't say make converts, he said make disciples. Mm -hmm. So we had seen these people come to Jesus and we need churches to plug them into. So what we're doing is we're having these evangelism trainings. Each and every Saturday, even today, we got two at two local churches in the city. And um, we're training the local churches up in evangelism. Then, after, so when we leave, they can continue walking in this evangelism. Um, because if we just come in and drop a bomb and do an event, but the church, the body of Christ, is not equipped to go out and win the loss, we fail. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the big event is May 19, 20, and 21st at Tide Stadium. Uh, we, really perceive, we really believe that God is going to shake the place. Amen. 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 Uh oh, Sister Kara, you know I ain't heard your voice. So <laughs> say something to us. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> but yes, please. Um, this event is gonna be very family friendly. We're gonna have live music on that Saturday. We're also gonna have um, starting at three p.m. We're gonna have bouncy houses. We're gonna have food trucks and um, even providing um, up to two thousand meals. Um, to families that are wow. going to be there. Wow. So That's we wonderful. would just love to see the community citywide event come out um, for the city to come city to come out because um, we've heard that this community has went through so much, has been going through so much, and we want to see them um, encounter God, encounter the presence of God. So many people are hurting, going through anxiety, depression. It's like this is going to bring hope to the community. Mm -hmm. We want to leave this place better, in better condition than we came into. Amen. Amen. We're, we're, you know, we're, we're excited that... Um, that you came to St. Mark Christian Academy's chapel yesterday yeah, yeah. and um, shared. I know Minister Parker saw saw it on on online. Facebook, yeah. Uh, Facebook, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, why don't you share a little bit how you got started in in missionary? You know where 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 it birthed from, yeah. and 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 where you see God taking you to. Yeah, man. I, I would say I take it all the way back to when I was like six, seven years old. My family got saved at an old church, man. Okay. And um, it was then I seen my dad ministering and things like that. That I would tell my um, second grade teacher, I want to be an NFL football player and I want to be a preacher. Though <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. so I fell away from God for many years, I can't say it didn't start there. Mm -hmm. um, because even in those times, man, wandering off. I had those moments to look back to, like, man, I know it's something out there. Um, but I would say, once I got saved, man, a lot, it's a long story. I take the whole thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but let's just say, I, I, I asked God, hey, if you real and, and, and this is true, I, I want to know what I'm created to do. We talk about purpose. And I started having dreams. I was preaching. And I was like, nah, I do anything else, but I ain't never doing that. This guy in second grade who was like, yeah, I want to preach. I got older, I'm like, nah, that ain't cool no more. <laughs> I ain't trying to do that. So yeah, man, I start having these dreams. I go to this guy at church that my mom was sending me videos from on Facebook. And this guy, man, it was seemed like it was just me and him on FaceTime. It was freaking me out. I didn't want to watch the videos, but I felt like I had to. I'm like, I want to see if this guy going to talk to me again, right? So I show up to his church. He's not preaching that day. And there's another guy preaching. And he steps up. He said, I'm here to talk to three people. Um, and I said, that's stupid. Hundreds of people here. Why are you only talking to three? And he said, specifically one young man. I'm like, oh, snap. And he said, uh, to accept this calling in the ministry and really give his whole heart to Jesus. And he talked about every dream and everything. And from there, man, I gave up everything. I was like, God, if, you, if you're pursuing me like that, you can have it all. And man, from there, hopped into ministry um, in like two, three months. I was a youth pastor. It was wild. Uh, <laughs> But I say like a year or two after that, I, I had this, I just began to thirst for God in a new way. Mm -hmm. um, I read this book. It was one of those old books. I tell people all the time, I like reading the dead men. They had something different. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it had it made me go after God in a different way. And I began to ask God, like, I want to really know your voice and when you're speaking to me. So I began to go in stores and just random places and I 
go talk to her. And I'm like, ah, I don't know about that. But then I'll go do it and the girl be crying and crazy things like that. And I'll never forget one Saturday, um, it's really when it all started with this missionary evangelist thing. Um, she was planning me a surprise birthday party. And um, I knew about it. It's hard to surprise me. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I go out. My dad's making everything right for it. And I was like, he was like, come help. I know you know you got this party. I'm like, nah, Pops. This is the first time I can really just tell you, no, I'm not helping you plan my surprise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not putting no ice in the cooler. Chance. I'm not yeah. doing none of that. This is my party. I'm surprised, yeah. right? Yeah. So I leave. It's um it's actually on a Sunday. I got saved have parties on Sundays. Yeah. Right? But anyway, uh, so I go to the park. I'm like, this is going to be my only alone time with God that day. And I'm at the park, y'all. I'm in the hood. And I just see people just, just passing by. And they know, I know they need the Lord. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm like, Lord, if you really want me out here, I don't even know why I said it. Show me today at church. I go to church and a guy preached on um, Joshua. And he said, whatever the sole of your foot tread, I've given you the land. And I tell you, the president God came on me so strong, I curled up like a little baby, and I just weeped. And a few months later, man, long story short, I'm in a park preaching to some people. God tells me to go out there. We set up, um, we didn't even have a speaker. It's me and a, a group of college kids. We set up a speaker, and we start preaching, and the whole park just sat, sat down, turned around and listened, and people was getting saved every oh, week. So man. from there, it just took off. Wow. Wow. wow, you got a question? Man, that's what it's all about. You know, that's what it's all about, man. And, uh, wow, I, I'm excited. Um, um, I heard that um, I'm, uh, on the um, in the Christian Academy, Mr. Burford boy, uh, that you've spoken over the 20,000 youth. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> like, two years ago is when I started serving under Christ for Our Nations. And what... What they're doing is they're raising up evangelists. Um, as you know, Reinhard Bonnke, man, he's seen over the last 30 years, the ministry seen 85 million documented decisions for Jesus. Mm -hmm. If you see the videos, man, you see people look like ants. I'm talking about as far as you can see. And I had the privilege to go to um, two of those big crusades. Really? Um, I got a privilege to preach one of, uh, one of the crusades. It was much on a smaller scale, but man, it's mind blowing. But as before, um, Reinhardt died. Um, he had a dream and he seen two people talking and one of them said, whatever happened to that Reinhardt Bonke? And the man was like, oh, he was just a forerunner for thousands of Holy Spirit evangelists. Wow. So when Daniel Kalinda took over the reins once Reinhardt died, what his goal was is this, like, I want to see a decade of double harvest. Mm. So what we've seen in 30 years, I want the Lord telling him we're going to see it in 10. And I can't do that by myself. So he began to raise up people and raise up people. And I just happened to be one of them. And one thing we do after boot camp, you go to initiation. So it's like, hey, if you really want to be a part of this ministry, you got to survive in Africa, right? <laughs> so it's three weeks. Um, you're preaching from sun up to sundown. And one of the big things we do is we go to schools. And, man, you talking about schools. You can walk into a school. You're preaching to 2,000 people. Wow. So for the last two years, um, every time I've gone to Africa, I've been to Mozambique. I've been to Ghana. Um, I've been to Ivory Coast, uh, Tanzania. Um, we go and for like Monday through Friday, besides preaching at churches, we're hitting a younger generation. Wow. So man, we, I'm talking about one trip. And when I said 20,000, it was really light. I could have went a little bit I higher, see, honestly. Definitely. But man, you see these kids encounter God um, mm -hmm. by the simple gospel. Just that story I share was mm -hmm. one of the stories I share with the students and man, it's amazing to see kids just crying before you mm -hmm. because the presence of God is there. Because kids don't fake for you. you know? right. Adults right. only do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. I, um, I, I definitely want to make sure that you put your information out there. Because I know, I know yesterday there, there's a couple teachers that want to plant a seed in the ministry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so there may be some people on the broadcast that they want to want to contribute. Same thing with the walk in it as well. We need to get that information out because um, this is a great platform for people to support. So tell them how they can support and all, and what's it, all Christ Christ's nation. Yeah. nation. Yeah. So um, just go to cfan.org, um, cfan.org, and you can go in there um, and just give. It got It's a great website. You'll be able to see it. And, um, 
they got a chance for you to give. You can partner monthly, which helps the ministry really like be able to plan a little bit more ahead. Or you can give a one-time gift. Anything is necessary. Um, anything is really just we're thankful and appreciative of it for real. Good, man. Good, amen. Well, yeah, just real quick too. Also, we have the telephone lines open right now. I'll tell you. You still over there? Absolutely. Okay, so make sure. Seven five seven four five four sixteen fifty. Hey, you may have a question. You may want to uh, share share something, testimony. You may want to ask for prayer. Um, you know, wake up, y'all. Get the crust out your eyes, <laughs> and, and, and just give us a call. We love to hear from you. Um, you know, we got plenty of people in here that can pray for you. Uh, we got some prolific preachers, evangelists in here. Uh, Pastor, what you got, sir? Go ahead. Yeah, I know you guys are off and on, so let me again just kind of uh, just kind of celebrate you guys doing an awesome job of the radio broadcast. Uh, Deontay, again, uh, you guys make it work. Uh, and, you know, we have online, we have TV, uh, but radio really is uh, one of the great ways that we are to connect. Sometimes with an audience that may not necessarily want to get online, yeah, may not spend the time on television. So, again, I want to thank you guys for that. I, I wanted to kind of ask, ask you all, how has this been? Uh, Reverend, Reverend Burford, Minister Parker, how has this been? I know you guys get to ask questions all the time. Yeah. Uh, how has this been for you all? I got three questions. How has this been for you all? Uh, then I would love for uh, Daryl and Kira, if you all can kind of talk a little bit about, I know you guys have uh, moved from country to country, state to state. Yeah. Recently in the Topwater area, I believe you guys have done Williamsburg, Yorktown. Yeah. Uh, right now you're preparing for the May 19th Newport News Hampton yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then after that, you're gonna be in Virginia Beach. Just, just kind of, kind of let let yeah. let the tide water know. Let the yeah. tide water know where you're gonna be. Yeah. Uh, and again, they all working so hard for Christ for All Nations. But one of the things I love uh, about their dedication is that while Christ for All Nations definitely takes care of them and provides for them and makes sure that they have means for ministry, uh, that a lot of what missionaries around the world do, they're responsible for raising, uh, you know, their own funds for uh, for living. Uh, we got a really young couple here that are on mm -hmm. fire for Christ. Uh, and I know you did share the Christ for All Nations information. Before we finish, I would love for you guys to share your information as well. Yeah, sure. uh, and then lastly, just for time purposes, I would love to be able uh, to let Dr. J kind of talk about the gala. The gala mm -hmm. is a great opportunity for those who want to support uh, local young women and men. I'm sorry, local young girls. <laughs> and, I'm trying to get it in I'm there. trying to get it in I'm, 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 I'm with you, Pastor. I'm with you. I want to go too. Uh, no, uh, but no, walk, walk in it. Uh, ladies of Distinction particularly, uh, really highlights uh, how we empower young girls and then of course uh, women because the women are also who empower the young girls. So I wanted her to be able to come back and just share a little bit about that. But let, let me start off first with you guys. How has uh, being on Praise Radio, big shout out to Praise Radio by the way for mm -hmm. providing this platform. Uh, how has Praise Radio kind of helped you guys, it's kind of a short statement, uh, share gospel. Uh, and then back to you guys, kind of share a little bit about where you where you ha where you been locally, yeah. and where you are, and then where you headed, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I had Dr. J come back. Thank you guys. I, you know, I, I'll share very briefly. Um, I don't know how I got here, uh, and like I always tell everybody, um, um, somebody didn't show up one day, and I was on the radio by myself, <laughs> and Majed has kept me here. Praise God for Reverend Majed. This is his radio show, standing on his shoulders, and. Um, I, I thank God for Pastor and Reverend Jay for their support. Um, this is a this has opened me up for ministry. You know, it, it, you know one of the things I love about our Pastor and First Lady, they they take you out of the box of sanctuary. Right. It's more than the four walls. So they challenge you to go out. You can go in so many different places to go teach the gospel, spread the gospel. Never thought about the radio. Never, never thought about the radio. Um, but it's given me an opportunity to share, grow, uh, learn more, meet more people, um, and and it's been a blessing for me. And so I've I've enjoyed it. I really have enjoyed it. What part? Yeah, I, I I'm with you. Um, I, I'm I'm still trying to figure out. I'm with you. I'm just still trying to figure out how we got here. How we got here? I, I just know. you know, and I just thank God for the opportunity. Um, the 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 words that the people have been sharing to the audience, the feedback. <laughs> I mean, we've had opportunities to, to pray for people. Uh, people have called in talking about how that word, they needed that word. Mm -hmm. And we've gotten calls from, you know, people at home, people on the road. And so it's just a, a blessing. Um, one of the things our pastor emphasizes is outreach, mm -hmm. humility, not mm -hmm. just in church. Mm -hmm. And he encourages us to whatever God has given you to take it out. It's mm -hmm. not for you. You know, it ain't about you. Right. It's about out there and 
and having disciples and stuff. But, uh, so this ministry opportunity has just been, um, like, like, I'm like what Reverend Burford said, it's just been awesome. Um, I thoroughly look forward to it. Um, all, you know, I make you think, we're talking about this. You know, we have, uh, and I'm, at, at the church, we have an outreach. Mm -hmm. And Reverend Jay, you know, Reverend Jay, she taught, had uh, taught um, in that outreach ministry about um, ministry, witnessing. Mm -hmm. She had us up there practicing, witnessing everything. Yeah. So uh, this church, this ministry is about outreach. You know, mm -hmm. whatever available avenue to get the word out, mm -hmm. you know. So it's not, everybody's not going to come to the to the four brick walls, you know. So, you know, just like I heard you, sir, you in the park, you know, yeah. radio, and then the pastor, you know, feeding people. You're drawing people in. And so um, I just think it's a blessing. I think this opportunity here um, coming to uh, 104.9 is an opportunity to meet Leonte J. Um, also, I want to bring out that um, Reverend Burford not only... Tell opportunities. Not only had this, has he been here, but he's also been minister at Faith Fellowship. Bless you, sir. And I mean, he <laughs> was there constantly about five or six months, mm -hmm. and now the church is going through the process Nursing. of of. Oh yeah, yeah, sure will. And um, of, of getting the pastor. Also, the nursing home, mm -hmm. the opportunity to minister mm -hmm. in nursing homes, uh, where uh, Minister Reverend Burford has been taking the lead. And we've been going to nursing homes, sharing the gospel, let people know that Jesus does not forget them. Mm -hmm. You know, right. they get in those nursing homes, they haven't seen family, they haven't heard a good word, they're looking at the walls, and the only thing they have is their thoughts. And mm -hmm. a lot of times the enemies are just playing games with them. Right. So it gives an opportunity to go and share the word in nursing homes. So uh, it's just, you know, this has just been a blessing. Amen. And um, and then we've also had an opportunity to minister in other in churches, uh, Reverend uh, Reverend Burf and I'm also myself. And so God has just been good for us. Um, for me personally, I just want to do what God wants me to do. Um, and while I'm in this stage uh, of life and ministry, I'm here to learn. I'm here to serve. And, um, and just, you know, just want to follow the Lord. And I'm just so excited that I, I'm almost, I don't want to do it, but you can see they are young. And they've been, how many countries have y'all been to already? Uh, like four, four. Four countries, wow. Yeah. I've been to Canada, does that count? I'm going to Canada. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now you're falling, let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah. Now you're falling, let's go. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we count that. Yeah. So it's awesome. Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia, yeah. yeah. And then I'm, I'm, I'm excited, um, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm and I'm excited <laughs> that the pastor brought out that y'all actually come to the south side. We just yeah. talked about because I'm like, they went to the peninsula. That's cool. That's cool. Seven five seven peninsula. We did it. But I'm glad to hear that y'all come to the south side too. Yeah. Hey Parker, let me say this real quick. I'm gonna pass it down. Pastor, yeah. you just let Parker pour his heart out. <laughs> pour, pour his heart out. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Talk, talk, talk about the, the events, man. Yeah, I love it, man. Uh, one big thing that I, I love the transition into uh, what Christ for Our Nations is doing um, is amazing because actually when I interviewed for boot camp, they asked me a question. They said, uh, do your heart burn for Africa? And I'm the guy who's I'm straightforward. I'm not going to lie. I was like, nah. It really <laughs> um, I never really wanted to go out of the country, y'all. It's just been a God thing. I told them, honestly, I believe that it's people in America that's dying and going to hell. And, um, that's what my heart really burns for. So though um, it's great to go out the country, man. I believe it's people in Virginia, Louisiana, Texas um, that needs Jesus just as much as people need out of the country. So now what we're doing is we're transitioning to the states. Um, we come to the great state of Virginia, and what we're doing in New Hampton, um, the Hampton area and the Newport News area, after we finish on May 19th, 20th, and 21st, we're going to go to Virginia Beach area because doors are just opening. Praise Pastors God. are calling like, hey, um, are y'all going to come down? Because they're seeing the fruit of it. Um, just a few weeks ago, we was downtown um, at Pastor Ray's church, and it was amazing. I'm walking down the street, and I see this older lady, and she has, her, um, she has a walker. And um, I'm like, man, everybody been talking to everybody. We're all kind of in this one little area. But I ended up telling her Jesus loves her. 
And man, she breaks down. She's like, man, I need that. Like, I'm just broken. I'm broken. I'm broken. I'm broken. Um, I begin to pray for her. And this lady gives her heart to Jesus. Uh, wow. And she tells me, what you don't know is that I've been in the house for weeks. I don't want to come out. I'm suicidal. Um, I, I was messed up, but I'm so happy right now. She leaves that area, comes to the church, and testify in front of everybody. So uh, it's been it's really been amazing, and we we believe that God's gonna do great things, man, for this event on um, May 19, 20, and twenty first. Just seeing. Um, just these churches come together, these pillars, the fathers of the city saying, hey, let's go together and let's win our city for the loss. Um, it's amazing working with Bishop Riddick. Uh, I told your dad yesterday, I've been hanging around the sun too much, man. I'm trying to come get some wisdom from the old guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it, it's been really amazing. And after, literally right after, we're going to... Um, we're going home for like a month, a month and some change. Then we're going to Virginia Beach. And it's like, it's nine of us on the team, y'all. It's eight of us. We stand in one house. Um, it's like real missionary stuff in America. And it, it's, it's been really cool. So for us, we all come together. And like pastors say, most of us, we raise our own funds. Um, CFAN, they pay for everything else, um, you know, like housing and all of those things. But most of us, we're under this banner, but we're carrying our own ministries and things like that. Just for the sake of Jesus, uh, we have no other agenda. Uh, we don't care. We just want to see Jesus move um, in powerful and mighty ways. So, um, a one way to give to me and Kira, um, we have a ministry right now um, called Hallelujah Gang Missions, and uh, what we do is, man, we want to afflict the kingdom of darkness uh, with light, H and everywhere we go. So, to give to us personally, um, I, I I just mentioned my cash app. Um, it's cash sign, of course. Um, H A L L E L U J A H um, G A N G and again H A L L E L U J A H G A N G. You got to text that to me. I can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm really you got to text that to me. You have to take you out too. Yeah, get yeah, yeah. that word out. Yeah. So yeah. Too fast. Too fast for me. Text <laughs> really, thank y'all so much, man. I honor both of you. Like, just hearing y'all talk about how much y'all are doing. Um, it just shows to me that the body's so much bigger than like the pastor and all these other things that like it's people out here that's doing the work of God and that's a testimony to see that y'all like really empowering your people to go do the work of the evangelist go do the work of God so praise God for your lives man amen amen, amen. first lady come on up here come on down more house and dusty <laughs> look she a preacher machine man I remember when she came to St. Paul before the pastor came and she was buying. Hey, let, let me just throw this out right quick. She is, if you, is, if you are in Harrisonburg, Harrisonburg. I heard you want to Harrisonburg. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. She going to Harrisonburg, Pastor. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. Harrisonburg, yep. I right? That's crazy. It's yeah. yeah. Nine Unity yeah. Community Church. Oh, we found 10 out. 10 a.m. Yeah. You can you get to see this prolific preacher, this woman of God. Praise the Lord. I'll let you have it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Excited to be in Harrisonburg with the Duck family tomorrow morning for their 8.30 a.m. and their 10.30 a.m. So we're so excited about that. So if you want to support the Walk In It Gala, as we mentioned at this event, it kind of is a capstone for a successful year with our girls. So we celebrate each school. They have a Lady of Distinction of the Year. We award scholarships. Many of our donors come and show their support. And so we're excited about it. Again, it's May the 20th. And tickets can be purchased on our website at walkinit.com. Uh, walkinit.com, and you can get further details about the gala. But we are excited and so grateful for the opportunity to do this work, to pour into the lives of girls and women. We often say that we're raising the next generation of leaders and world changers. So thank you. Amen. Personally, I saw this like. Like somebody said, oh man, May 20th, I'm out of town, I can't make it. I saw they also had the opportunity to watch it virtually. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Thank you for mentioning that. You can purchase a ticket to the gala either to come on site and hang out with us, have a good meal, and meet some of our young ladies who've been impacted. Or you can watch virtually if you just want to jump on for a moment, show some support. That, that's also an option. Thank you for mentioning that, Minister Parker. Amen. Well, I tell you, man, they, they, they cover it all. They got in-person, online, live stream. Shoot, you can catch it on the, on the corner. Catch it anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, that's that zone saying Shoka. <laughs> JMU. <laughs> I, know, I know about it. Look, we are going to let the pastor close out in his own way. We got about a couple more minutes. I don't think we have any phone calls. So 
Uh, we're going give, to give, give the radio to him and let him close out in this way and close us out in prayer. We had a great day today. Um, and we're glad that the Riddick's doctors, Riddick's, have come by. And certainly the missionary, Brother Daryl and Sister Kira, yes. came by. Hey, we got a little Jasmine in here, too. That, that, that daughter's in here. She's playing soccer today. A little Pele. Okay. All right. <laughs> Again, I want to thank you guys so much, not just for the day, definitely for the day, but just for your consistency showing up. I was telling uh, Minister Majet that uh, the ability to show up week after week at the same time is really in its own way a form of pastor. You know, you guys have a consistent audience that's listening and depending on you to come through. So I want to, again, just say thank you for that consistency. Pray God's favor upon you. Yancy, I know your show's coming up, man. Again, before we give out, I want to make sure you have some time just to get a highlight that. Uh, thank our crew uh, for coming in, uh, for video and audio, making this happen. Daryl uh, and Kira, we are excited about what God is doing. Mm -hmm. And as you can hear, fully supportive. Yeah. And so, again, if you guys get a chance, check out uh, that cash app, Hallelujah Game. Uh, you just got to figure out how to spell Hallelujah Game. Right. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah Game. Hallelujah Game. Look it up. Got to yeah, spell Hallelujah it. Game. Look for them. Want to Text that to me. Yeah, right, right, right. right. But we do want to be supportive, right? We can say it, but uh, to do it is going to be great. Uh, and then again, so proud, so proud of uh, Dr. Jane, all she's doing. Uh, let, let me just say, if you've been listening uh, today, you've heard a lot. Uh, some of maybe you take notes on. Here's, here's really what I believe God is saying to all of us, is that there is work to do. The harvest uh, is plentiful. The laborers are still few. I think Jesus, after leaving the well, uh, he gets to this space where he says, listen, I know what you guys are saying. Uh, you think that, uh, based on what you've heard before, that... Uh, that it's going to be ripe in four months. But I'm telling you, it is ripe right now. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no stone that is too big uh, that should stop you from pursuing God personally, but then also spreading the gospel. Uh, we talked about that Romans uh, Romans uh, 1. Uh, I, I, I kind of really, really got to know Jesus through a lot of gospel hip-hop. And so, uh, you know, that 116 uh, rap group was really the one that put me on to uh, a lot more uh, than what I just kind of grew up hearing and so I want you guys to embrace that that gospel is powerful the gospel is real uh, Jesus does love you you do have purpose uh, you are never lacking the things God needs for you matter of fact he says that right uh, that you will lack uh, no good thing for those who walk upright as we close out uh, we do want to close out in prayer um, as Dr. J she starts off we only have a couple minutes and I'm going to close it out and again thank you guys have a beautiful day today as we go out uh, spreading the gospel Let's pray. Gracious God, our Father, we honor you, we bless you, and we thank you for this another day. We honor you and for all that you are doing. Uh, while we are aware of the ills that are happening in our society, we also acknowledge that you are God and you're still on the throne. So we thank you. We thank you for the power that you've given us. We thank you for direction that you're giving. We thank you for those who you have sent out, Lord God, to bless those, to evangelize both near and far. And we pray right now that your good news will go out and we know that your good news, your saving power, Lord, will cover all that is happening even now. We ask these things knowing, God, that you're watching over us, you're covering and keeping us. But more importantly, I pray that you stir up the gifts within us, stoke the embers and ignite fires in your children so that we'll go out and talk about our Heavenly Father. Do it in Jesus' name. Uh, we pray these things. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Listen, we're here at Praise Radio again. I want to make sure that you don't just check out when we cut off because there are great programs that are happening. Yante, can you tell us a little bit about yours before we go out again? Uh, Minister Parker, Reverend Burford, Tadura, Kira, you guys go out today and make God proud. Yes, sir. So I'm going to go ahead and try to squeeze in about uh, the, the last 30 seconds. So you all can be sure to tune in today at 1.30, uh, right before Darlene's uh, McCoy. Spirit Top 15 Countdown. Um, just, just hang out with me for some fellowship and fun, and then come on back tonight um, on the Ultimate Gospel Experience from 8 to 10 p.m. I'll be back, you guys. Pastor Riddy? Sounds good. Thank it, you it, so listen, much. it's always a pleasure to see you. Glad to have you and Lady Janelle Riddick here in the building. Um, you all have been a beacon of light, a blessing. I love you guys. And um, any final words? Actually, again, I wanted to shout out uh, Minister Majette, even in his absence. Uh, yeah. He's been doing this radio for some thir over 13 years, mm -hmm. 20 years, I think, plus. We want to shout him out. You guys be blessed today. Make God proud. Amen. 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 What is on this thing?